All right, so quick project today. We've got to make a bunch of uh, J-hooks. Um, we're probably going to make about 10 of them. We'll see how we go. Basically, we're going to be making a few of these. They, they need to be a little bit longer than the customer wants. Usually, I will start off just forging the set down for the screw hole. I'd forge out a quick taper. I'd form the hook, and bang, that'd be your hook. But today, we're going to try something different. We're going to grab this piece of steel. We're going to grab this piece of steel. We're going to forge our set down for the screw hole. We're going to forge another set down for the taper. And we're going to put a twist in the middle. So basically the same thing. It's going to be longer with a twist. So really nothing exciting. Let's just see how it goes. So we're going to start off by cutting our stock. Uh, we're uh, using 10 mil square bar. Cutting it at lengths of uh, 155 mil. We're going to do a set down at 25 mil and a set down at 50 mil. That'll be for the hook. That'll be for the screw hole. We'll put the twist in, twist in the middle. Now usually, I'd use my grinder to cut these. But the brushes are going in the grinder, so that's not working. So. Mate, can you get me something to cut this steel with, please? Come on, mate, we're doing cold work, not hot work. Come on, come on, time's money. Nah, nah, too conventional. Hey, are you serious? That's for wood. Oh, come on, mate. Stop mucking around. That's the one. Oh, yeah, that'll do nice. <laughs> okay, wow, well, that was actually a lot harder than it looked. Uh, but we got them done, we got them cut out. I'd just like to say, everything you just saw actually did happen. There was no editing done whatsoever. We just rolled the video, started cutting the steel, and this is what we ended up with. True story. Okay, so we got our 10 pieces of steel. <clears throat> nice and evenly cut as you can see but that's not going to matter so yes there's 11 what there's 11 there should be 10 okay 10 pieces of stock Mark out with a chisel at 25 mil where we're going to do our set down for the screw holes. I said I was going to do a set down for the hook, but I lied. I'm actually just going to, I didn't lie, I just changed my mind. I'm just going to forge a clean taper, a nice smooth taper, a uh, flat taper. Forge the set down, we'll do the twist. twist again. Forge out the taper, then we'll form the hook drill some holes and hopefully by then we'll be done we've just got to do that 10 times not 11 10 we're coming in for our first set down actually our only set down picking up our chisel mark
in the voice for a twist. Coming in, bending 
down almost until it, where it's got to sit on the wall. the end of our little tail there so we don't deform it. We just come around until we're pretty happy with where it is. Bam, you got your hook. I'll just go over to the anvil real quick and straighten that up. Talk. I don't like that tight twist. I mean, it's nice, but no, we might do them different for the rest of them. Or we might not. I don't know. Leave it as a surprise. So, pretty much done. I just want to straighten up that top a bit. So, we're heading over to the front there a bit.
Okay, I'll tell you what, that was a lot of work done in a couple of minutes. But here you go. We have the hooks forged out. As you can see, they're all exactly different. But, as you can see, we've got our 10 hooks. And we got love. Oh, God damn it. What? There's still 11. Are you serious? Yes. Uh, fine. Are you happy now? Indubitably. Good. It's good to be happy. So, are we finished with that joke? Yes. Thank you. So we have our 10 hooks. We have our 10 hooks. Um, I drilled the holes off camera. But here we go. We got our hooks. They all turned out. Obviously not exactly the same. Like I said, they're exactly different. But I don't think it's going to matter where they're going. They're going to be displayed all around the place. But we have all our hooks. They're all forced out. All we got to do is clean them up. Um, it, we ended up with a fair bit of scale. Uh, just because um, we had all the pieces in the fire at the same time. Um, just you know, trying to trying to make things uh, run a bit quicker. Uh, we ended up with a fair bit of scale, so I'm either gonna heat them up again and wire brush them, or just let them sit in the acid for a couple of minutes, and that'll just get rid of all the scale. And then we can put a little bit of heat into them again, and either wax them or use uh, boiled linseed oil. Um, I think where they're going is actually outside. They're, I think they're getting screwed up to an eave on a shed. So, I don't know, we might even paint these ones. I don't, I don't like painting my work. I like, um, I like finish them with some kind of oil or wax. But, um, we'll make that decision when we get to it. But, for today, that's about it. They're all forged, they're all drilled, they're all stamped with the touch mark. They're all ready to go, they just need cleaning up and finishing. I don't know if we're going to put that in the video. You've seen us do that before. Yeah, it's been a big day. So there you go. There's 10, not 11, 10 hooks forged. Catch ya. So that's our video for today guys, uh, thanks for watching, um, we had a lot of fun making the video, um, I'd like to thank Zach's mum, Cheryl, she's off camera just over here, <laughs> she's giving me an evil stare, finally she came into a video and did the twist, um, but really that's the only reason we do these videos, just for a bit of fun. For a lot of fun actually we have a great time making the videos um, it's a lot of work going into doing the videos but um, that's really the only reason we do it just for a bit of fun you had fun yes you had fun of course i had fun really honestly thanks for watching um, really hope you enjoy the videos and Tune in for the next one.